we head to High Point to meet one of the most fascinating university presidents in the country, perhaps the most unorthodox one, too. Nice to see you. Life is a series of turning points. Hey, I love those shirts. Love those shirts. This golf cart ride on High Point University's campus, every turn takes us down a different path. Love that shirt. You make it, keep wearing it, you make it to heaven. For Dr. Nito Cobain, every turn leads to a smile and wave. But the turning points in his life, over 74 years... Well, you know, my father died when I was six years of age, and that was a turning point for me. There are turning points that led him to a path today even he would have never imagined. It's changed his life and High Point University forever. How does someone without academic experience do that? Well, it all goes back to those turning points. Nino Kubang grew up in the Middle East, his mother playing a pivotal role after his dad died. My mother had only fourth grade education, but she had a postgraduate degree in uncommon sense. At 17, his mom insisted he go to school in the United States in pursuit of the American dream. He landed at then Mount Olive College in North Carolina. What do you remember about that coming to North Carolina and what it was like when you first got here? What I remember is that I couldn't understand anything anybody said. You came here with basically nothing, right? I had $50 with me. And by the time I landed in um, Mount Olive, I had about $30 left. And that was a fact. And I worked in the cafeteria for 80 cents an hour. And uh, two, three days later, I quit. I realized the pretty girls didn't want to date a guy who smelled like broccoli, so I said, the heck with that. Kubay moved on to High Point University and graduated before getting a master's degree from UNC Greensboro. With $500 in his pocket, he launched his first business. Hi, ladies. How are you? By now, you can probably tell Nito tells a good story. He's engaging, funny, and warm. And he turned that charm into a lucrative speaking career, focused on his stories as an immigrant chasing the American dream. But that big dream started small. And I had one speech, one tuxedo. And my speech was called America's Youth, colon, a sleeping giant. It's the only thing I knew. By 1978, he was getting hundreds of invitations and to date has given nearly 8,000 speeches. Between that career and running and investing in businesses over the next two decades, Cobain made a fortune, hobnobbed with famous people and was living well. Then in 2004, he got a phone call that would lead to another turning point. And I said, what are you talking about? You know, I don't want to be president. That was never an aspirational thing for me to become president. High Point University was known as a small liberal arts college, but it needed a huge influx of cash to fix and upgrade the campus. It took time, but Nito felt a calling to help his alma mater, so he accepted and prepared for the job in only a way Nito could. I would come on campus incognito, Nito incognito, and I would come in different cars, and I would roll the window down and see a kid, and I'd say, you know, what, what got you to this school? Do you like this school? What I learned is that my personality and my experience could, in fact, serve this university well. While he lacked an academic experience, he excelled in creating connections, life skills, as he calls it. Can we have a photo with you? Of course, I'd be honored. Let's do it. Nearly 18 years in now, Nino's a rock star. We appreciate you. Even high school kids touring campus. Hi, my name's Eli. Everyone knows Dr. Cobain. It's by design, and he spends time out and about every single day. Focus is more important than intelligence. The most important thing here is that student. If you do not focus on outcomes for the students, then what is the purpose? Since 2005, when Dr. Cobain arrived, enrollment and faculty are both up more than 200%. The campus size has exploded by 900%, and he's used his lifetime of connections to bring in hundreds of millions of dollars. The result is a boom beyond liberal arts. New state-of-the-art health science and engineering buildings. Construction will start soon on a new dental and law school. Dr. Cobain believes in academics, but he also believes in teaching life skills. An entire building is dedicated to internships, coaching, and even a mock airplane to teach students how to interact if they happen to sit next to a CEO. And it has technology, you can plug all your stuff in. Oh, there's also the new arena and conference center named after Dr. Cobain and his wife, who were donors themselves. I have never been at High Point University before, and I must say that when I came onto campus yesterday, I had seen pictures, but I was struck by the beautiful work that has been done here 
over the last seven or eight years. Dr. Cobain's connections bring big names to campus who speak highly of it. Students can learn from the best in business. And I see so much of that here at this university. That's what impressed me and that's what brought me into HPU. So I am always delighted to come here. I mean, it is, the, it is one of the few things that I do that I really, truly love. You've built so much of this or it's been from your resources. So what happens when you, you're not here someday? Well, um, you realize that I have 28 people here, deans, Vice Presidents, Senior VPs, high intelligence, depth of loyalty and dedication, have prepared themselves over the last dozen years. Uh, they really run the school. Life is about turning points. And for me, turning points were magical because out of adversity emerges abundance. It's so matter of fact, but where did this all come from? I mean, you came as a 17-year-old kid from the Middle East and it grew into this huge a yeah. speaking empire. Yeah, Tim, that question is like saying, I've been president of Hype University for 18 years. I'm not an academic by trade. How did I know how to do it? I don't have the answer for that. What I do know, though, is I'm willing to work hard. And if I'm committed to the cause, I'll give it all I have. And when I came to Hype University, I gave it all I have. Pictures of famous people fill Dr. Cobain's office, from politicians to movie stars. But it's an old black and white photo inside a cabinet that means the most. A house mother from his time at Mount Olive when he didn't have enough money to buy a car. Yet another turning point. And at the end of the month, Tim, I looked at my balance in the checking account. It was $350. And then it dawned on me. Could she? Would she? Did she? This woman making $100 a month for security, $100 a month for my olive. I will never forget her words as long as I live. She said, I've decided it's much better for me to invest my money in the life of a budding young man than to park it in a savings account somewhere. That day, my life was changed. Now, some five decades later, in a way, Dr. Cobain's life coming full circle at High Point University. In many ways, I began working with young people. I'm ending my life working with young people. In many ways, one could say that I've invested a lifetime preparing to be president of Hype University. When's that next turning point? He's 74 now, but don't expect him to retire anytime soon. After all, there's still many more students to meet and greet on campus. She should send you more money when you need it. <laughs> That's right. I get 10%. <laughs> <Yeah. I get laughs> <10%. laughs> <laughs> okay.